The sculpture is known as, or titled, the uh, Tags of Honor. And what the sculpture is, is two World War II uh, correctly designed uh, seven-foot polished stainless steel dog tags. The dog tag is, is commonly recognized as very symbolic of military service. It's a unique icon of military service, uh, and the artist and the committee thought that would be an appropriate way, a compelling way, uh, to, to symbolize the military service and sacrifice of that generation in World War II. But there are, there are no names on the dog tags whatsoever. They're meant to be universal in appearance rather than a specific person or a specific branch of the service. Well, around the base there's going to be five different things. There are two text panels. One, one panel uh, is in recognition of the veterans. Uh, the other panel is, uh, states where the sacred soil from various cemeteries have come from, as well as acknowledging the veterans committee uh, and uh, the donors that contributed and the two artists. On the other three sides are going to be three relief sculptures uh, that are being done by Dan Hunt, who's a professor here in the art department. And one of them will be, um, they're, they're called uh, By Sea, By Air, By Land. And each one of those has um, an armed for forces, a sailor, an air force, and an, an army person in profile with some um, um, recognizable motif related to their particular uh, uh, arm branch. Well, when the sculpture came, um, it was um, lifted by a crane onto the site. And so we had an opportunity to sort of move it around and see what worked best in terms of positioning it on the pedestal. And the way we've positioned it, the, one of the main entrances onto the plaza, you'll see the face of one of the dog tags. And in, reflected in that will be the flags, or the American flag, that's on a pole right beside there. So it's really very dramatic. and, and um, yeah, really very dramatic. There are folks who never got to come to K-State because they were sent off to war. There are students who left university uh, to go fight the war. There are some that never had a chance to come to university after the war had a GI Bill and because of their service in World War II became part of the K-State family. So, so it's a very unique memorial in, in that it, it's really representative of all of those people, uh, not just those that have left the university, fought and perished in conflict.